So the only remaining asset she has is her home, right? And I knock on her door and she is grappling the decision, is my life worth saving if it's going to make my family homeless? I'm just a stranger who's knocked on her door and here she is like genuinely asking my advice, like, am I worth saving? My husband and I were talking and thinking, wow, what, what can we do about this? Like sharing things on Facebook or retweeting them doesn't move the needle at all. Literally 60 to 70 people showed up just like on short notice to come to this thing and go knock on doors. People just wanted to do something. Knock on every door. My name's Emily and I'm a volunteer. I'm talking to folks about voting today. We need to organize a statewide tour. Garrett came home one day and was just like, hey, I think we should paint our RV green and drive it around the state. As I'm driving down the highway, like moss and branches and things are like flying off of it. And they say, no, that's not popular here. You know, that's not going to go. Pe people don't like Medicaid expansion. People shouldn't have had to speak so loudly about this. The politicians should have done something about this crisis. And they've just been playing political football in people's lives. People thought we were going to get just terrorized going to rural towns. They thought we were going to, like, get Molotov cocktails thrown at us. We're getting a lot of don't talk to me anymore on, on this list. We need people, each and every person, to know what this is and why this is important. When you get out there and talk to people, you see how popular this is, and then other people throw themselves into the fight. It's not a matter of reaching across the aisle. It's a matter of going out to ordinary people and reaching out to them. It's more like reaching across the doorstep <laughs> and uh, rather than the aisle. Medicaid has touched so many lives here. I'm not just gonna be silent anymore. I'm not just gonna assume that common sense will prevail. We have been working for a year for these days. I just don't wanna wake up tomorrow and think I could have done something more, you know? Can we count in your vote? Are you gonna vote? How's your voting feel? Are you a voter? Yes! 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 All of a sudden, this whole movement has just snowballed into something massive, and we're at the helm, and so we just have to keep going. If we go out and organize around issues, around values that unite us, if we map out a clear strategy and pursue it relentlessly, we have power. I don't know what I'm going to do when this campaign's over without all the opportunities to like talk to strangers because it's really lovely. But yeah, we've had a good time today.